Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. Today's video I'm so excited to bring you. This is going to be a collab with my friend, Aries Ashley. We are going to do 21 questions with Aries Ashley and products you sent me to review. So we have been wanting to collaborate with each other for months now. We're both just busy gals. So we finally decided, oh, it would be so fun to send each other some products and we would talk about them. And then Aries just amped it up a notch by adding this 21 question. So I thought it'd be so fun to answer her question. So she sent me some, I sent her some, and um, I, I hope it helps you all get to know me even a little bit better. Um, I definitely want you, after this video, go check out Aries Ashley. Her video will be linked down below. There's not enough words for me to describe how much I love this girl. Um, at, from the first video, I've been hooked. Um, she just has the best energy. She's so kind and genuine. She sends out sweet friend mail to all kinds of different um, content creators. And her choices are so perfect and spot on. So you can tell that she really watches them, listens to them, and she catches the littlest, like smallest details that are so meaningful. I shared the friend mail that she sent me and down to the little watermelon candy she sent me. I was like, oh my gosh, she totally like knows me and I just appreciate her so much. So I love her content. She does a lot of candle quickies where she talks about new candles. She um, does a lot of Bath and Body Works. She works at Bath and Body Works and Goose Creek candles, um, but she does other hygiene fragrance hauls as well. Um, I just, like I said, I, I don't think there is a sweeter person out there. So I appreciate you so much, Ashley, for collabor collaborating with me on today's video. I hope it's a really fun one. Um, let me know down below if you go down and watch her channel. I would love to know that like you all are supporting her like you support me. I appreciate it so much. So this is going to be a long one, so I'm going to jump right in. So these are the 21 questions that Aries Ashley sent me to answer. I'm going to try not to ramble, but we know me, right? So grab a drink, grab a snack, and then at the end, she sent me some products, so I'm going to review them for you all. Um, so we're going to jump right in. Question number one, what is your favorite Bath & Body Works candle? And this is hard because you guys know when I do like top 10 um, countdowns, I have a hard time narrowing it down to 10. But I really just sat and looked at this collection and I thought, what candle could I burn year round? What candle would make me happy if I only had one? And so this may be a surprise pick, but I did choose Pink Watermelon. And that is because last year, well, I'll, I'll back it up even further. In 2020, we were home. We had a lot of uncertainty. I didn't quite know like a lot of things like, you know, was my job going to keep going? You know, the state of the world, all of that would have you. I kind of slowed down so much on buying Bath & Body Works. I was buying here and there, tiny little things. I wasn't on YouTube yet, but, um, you know, I missed a lot of things. And I remember this candle. I had just started like sharing on YouTube. Um, I had gotten into Candle Day 2020, was kind of like my big jump back in. But this came out and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to share it. I wanted to talk about how good it was with you all. And I have gone through so many of these candles. I have like four or five still. But this was just such a fun one. It reminded me what I loved about candles, what I loved about Bath and Body Works. And so this is definitely a candle I could burn year round, even though it doesn't really hit Christmas. It doesn't really hit a lot of the holidays, but it is a scent that makes me happy. This is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugared Strawberry Blossom, and Lime Zest. And on cold, like you could just leave this sitting out and I swear you would think it's burning. It is so good. So I also wanted to make sure I picked one that I knew was like a tried and true. Um, they did come out with this again this spring, so you can get your hands on it. But this is a candle that I would pick because as you guys know, I'm a fruity, happy, bubbly scent preference person so i could definitely handle just having pink watermelon and being happy so this is my favorite candle at least right now like i said i love a lot of candles as you can see but this definitely came quite a you know quite easily to me at the top of my list because if i had to just pick one i would pick her question number two it says how did your love of fragrance begin and this one I had to just kind of sit and think about because I was like, oh my gosh, I've been shopping at Bath and Body Works since I had a car, you know. Um, we had a very small store in the mall, like in the town next to me. So I would go there quite often with my friends. I would go there and we didn't have a lot of stores. Like Maurice's was there. There's a couple like 
CD stores. Remember those back in the day? Um, but yeah, I would always kind of gravitate towards Bath and Body Works. But it started before that. I would say it was probably about like seven or so. I'll sort of picture. And I just remember like my grandma, my mom, my aunts all had like a vanity in their bathrooms, kind of their beauty space, if you will. And on their vanity, they always had some perfumes because my family, I come from a long line of boss babes. Okay. They all sold like Avon and things like that. So they had just like a whole array. And I used to love going in there when I was like about six or seven years old and just like spraying different things. And I kind of always remember liking like fruity scents. Um, and I remember when I was like 10 or 11, my grandma bought me a bottle of Clinique's um, Happy. Was it Happy? Yeah, happy. Um, and I fell in love with it. I went through like 12 bottles of that perfume. And then I kind of was like, I'm over this perfume. But that was like definitely one of my first perfumes that I was like, I loved the way it smelled on me. And I loved the compliments I would get from people when I smelled good like that. So it just kind of like took off from there. And now you see the collections grown quite a bit from Clinique Happy. But I just have really fond memories of sitting in front of their vanities and playing with all their stuff. Kind of where I got into makeup as well. My mom, she let like so she's boss babe too. She sold a lot of different stuff. I don't really ever, I never did that. Um, but she would she sold Scentsy for probably ten years, and her whole house always smelled amazing. She had warmers going everywhere. Candles were such an easy thing to purchase for my mom. Um, she had such a like distinct scent profile though. She was definitely more into like the herbal, earthy, like things you know, like she would have sandalwoods and all that kind of stuff, and so. Um, yeah, my mom would definitely would credit the home fragrance and candles, but I do remember being little and sitting in front of my grandma's vanity. Number three, what is your favorite perfume? And this one was tough because it's like, well, I'm really trying to be fair and only answer these questions with one product at a time. But currently, this is my favorite perfume. I do not have the original, which is Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. This is Floriental Marshmallow. I think it's now called Floral Marshmallow. And it's so funny because I honestly, when I first got this, I didn't even talk about it having a floral presence because on me, it just smells like vanilla and marshmallows and deliciousness. But on others, there's like a stronger floral presence. But as you can see, I've made quite a dip in this one. Having as much fragrance as I do, that's pretty impressive. But this is notes of marshmallow, neroli, bergamot, orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, amber, vanilla, and musk. And I just really, really love this perfume so much. But that is a brand new love. A perfume I'm actually going to say is my favorite of all time because I've gone through several bottles is Escada Sorbetto Rosso or Rosso. I think it's Rosso. I don't speak the language that it's in, but um, this is a delicious watermelon with like a light, clean floral scent. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is discontinued because Escada fragrances kind of come and go like that. But I do have this one last bottle, but I have gone through probably three big bottles of this. I just love smelling like a fruity watermelon. And like I said, there's a little hint of like marshmallow cotton candy in there. So these actually pair pretty well together, but they're both strong on their own. You don't really need to blend them. But I would say this is probably my favorite. I need a good watermelon perfume. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. But that is my absolute favorite perfume ever. And I'm really going to try to never go through this. So I always have it. Um, number four is what is your favorite Goose Creek candle? And this one was super easy because this is a new love. I probably only started buying Goose Creek last year. And I think I said, well, it may have been the year before, but it was like, I got a couple of the two wick tumblers of the cereal candles and they were just okay. I thought, oh, they're fruity and berry. I like them. Well, then I started really digging into Goose Creek and I saw that they had so many fun scents. So me being like a fruity, happy, you know, scented person, peach rings and gummy bears and watermelon bubble gum. And I was like, these are not candles I can get at Bath and Body Works. I will say I primarily shop at Bath and Body Works, but um, this was a candle that was actually recommended by Gabadina, Gabby. She was talking about Caramel Apple Lane and I didn't even know this existed. So I went ahead just on her recommendation and I bought a couple. This is crisp apple, caramel, and cinnamon. And this smells so good, like a caramel apple, but like you're eating the caramel apple at the apple orchard because you can kind of get a little bit of like the leaves blowing and the crispness outside. This is super good. So I still have one of these. I'll bring it up. Um, I think they still have wax melts online, which I do have and they are strong. But when this candle comes out again in the fall, 
which will just be in a couple months because you know how we're a little ahead on our seasons when we buy from these stores. This is a really good candle. I definitely recommend this one. Okay, five. What other, I don't know, other than Bath and Body Works and Goose Creek, what candle companies do you enjoy? So I've spoken about them a few times, but I really do love Above Average Candle Studio. That is a, well, it used to be a one woman show, but she does have a couple employees. She has her own shop out of Chicago. There's candle making classes, which I love. Um, there, she does everything like is made to order. So it's all empty vessels sitting on the shelf and then you order the products and she makes them in smaller batches. I think that's really cool. Another company that I reached out to last year and I got to know was Shauna at Adulting Candle Company. And I just love the names of her products, like Mom Jeans and Morning Wood. And like, they're so fun. Coffee Cake Therapy, and they're good. I really like the wax that she uses. They are some of the longest lasting wax smells I've ever tried. Um, and she's a one woman show as well. So I just really feel like that's so cool to have that much enthusiasm about your products that you're willing to i mean that's so much work i love watching on her instagram she does like that speed up process and shows you like a day of making the wax melts and the candles that is so much work and she does all the shipping and all the order it's just like craziness but when you really love and believe in your product you're willing to do that um so i do i did try homesick candles i thought that was a really cool company because they are a candle company that creates like an experience so like i bought the one for illinois because that's where i'm from and did it smell like that to me a little um but they do like summer camp and wedding day and it's just like so interesting how they like make the blends to provoke your scent memories so i thought that was a really interesting company don't know what's going on out there just a lot of craziness and then i've also tried kringle and i've liked and disliked a few things from there and recently just at christmas time i tried scentworks and i'm really enjoying those and Ashley was kind enough to send me a candle that I slept on, um, the strawberry sprinkled donut one, and I love that candle. So that's another company that I have tried. I do mainly stick to Goose Creek and Bath and Body Works, but of course, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know because I'm always willing to branch out. My TJ Maxx never has very many good candles, so some of those companies like GW Homes and things, I never find the good scents there. I just find some coconut, tropical, you know, things like just... I've seen some things online. I'm like, oh, I want to find that, but I never do. So I haven't quite branched out there very much. Number six, what was your favorite item from the friend mailbox? So she sent me so many things. When I opened the box, she didn't know this, but I was having a very hard day. Um, you know, just as all the mandates and everything, things that my job have changed so much over the last couple of years. We try to roll with it, keep a smile on our face for the kids, but it was a particularly hard day. And I had gotten a little slip from my post office um, in my post office box that said I had a big package. And I was like, I didn't remember anybody reaching out to me. And so I had to go there and um, she hands me this box and it had her name on the front. And I was just like, oh, like it was so heavy. You guys, it was full of just such sentimental, sweet things and a kind note. I remember even the little box of candy when I opened it because it was like watermelon, like Mike and Ike's. And I was like, I talked about how much I love these kind of candies. So she just either guessed well or did such a good job of like knowing me. And so I really thought about this because she's everything in the box I liked. And I know that's probably corny to say, but like it, there was some cute hand sanitizer holders, that candle from Scentworks that I was like, I know I had said that I really wanted to try, but it was like long gone. Um, there was this body care that I'm going to review for you. And I was interested because I actually had not tried anything from the brand. And then there was this. And I don't know why. This is just so special to me. And I will tell you, I had already bought one and I wanted to send it to someone. So I was going to buy another one. And so I kept the one that Ashley sent me. And I sent that one off because magnolias are just so special. They're so pretty. They're such a pretty flower. But my mom used to love this flower and she'd have like fake bouquets of them in little vases around her house. So I went ahead and grabbed one. But when she sent me this and look, it looks so good with that juice. Ooh, it's like a strawberry pound cake. It smells so good. So um, I have this plugged in my bathroom and this is the one she sent me because even though that probably doesn't make that big of a difference, I kept the one she sent me. But I really love this, and I just thought it was such a sweet thing to send because these are cheap. these are not cheap, you guys. These are pricey. 
So I really appreciate this. And this will just always make me think of you, Ashley. So thank you so much. Okay. I'm trying to rush through these because you guys know I can talk. Number seven, what is your least favorite Bath & Body Works fragrance? And this was easy because I kind of referenced it a lot. Um, I had a couple I could pick um, because, okay, I'll tell you a quick story. I thought of Flamingo Beach, which I love on cold, but when I burnt it, it smelled like a perm to me. And I just remember we like all like choked out, put out the candle, left for the day, came back. It still kind of smelled like that. So that was like the first candle last summer that I've ever exchanged. Like I was just like, I can't because I bought two because on cold, it had this strawberry starburst scent to it. But then the other scents, like it was like dewy something. And so when you all talk about pink watermelon having like a dewy note, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I don't pick up on that because I picked that up and that kind of just like gave me this perm vibe. But my least favorite fragrance from Beth and Byrx, and please don't hate me if this is your favorite, is Fresh Cut Lilacs. I don't know why it just does not smell authentic to me. Like I, we all in Illinois, like almost everyone has a lilac bush in their yard. So we always were picking those and handing them off to mom. Like, Hey mom, look what I got you. Can I please come in to play? Cause you know, it'd be like hot outside and you just be outside all day. Um, the answer was no, but like, you know, for grandma, for mother's day, just being sweet. Like we were always playing in those lilacs. So I thought that was a scent I was going to like love. But every time I smell the candle, I start coughing in store and I have to leave because everyone's like, oh, why are you coughing like that? Um, I tried the body care. No. And I just, again, I don't know that it could be authentic to you. But for me, it's not re like reminding me of those childhood memories. So it's just a scent I do not like. I don't own anything in the scent. I can't even bring myself to buy it just to say I don't like it. It's just like it can have none of my coins. So maybe someday I'll get a mini just so I can be like, I don't know. You guys want to watch a fun magic trick? I'll spray this on me and cough to death on camera. But that one to me just don't get along. So that is my pick for my least favorite Bath & Biodiverse fragrance. Number eight, if you could only wear one fragrance for the rest of your life, what would it be? This was really hard because as you guys know, in my, if I could only keep 10 video, I struggled. But I ultimately just sat and thought about it. And again, I have one, but I, I did kind of lean towards picking A Thousand Wishes because I've really always liked that and it felt like a perfume to me and it's more than one note. But then I was like, you know, I would get sick of that. So I went ahead and picked the safest thing I could. I didn't pick Champagne Toast. Is anybody surprised? I picked Boardwalk Taffy because if I could only wear one thing for the rest of my life, I think I would want it to be one note. And, um, this is something I can wear in the summer, but this is something I could wear in the winter. Some of those winter scents are just too strong and too deep for me in the summer. So this is sponge sugar, pink berries and whipped vanilla. And I guess just, you know, cotton candy vibes. I would want to smell like a sweet sponge sugary scent if it was the only thing I could ever smell again. So I picked Boardwalk Taffy for my, if I could only wear one, but that would be really hard to do. Number nine is a quick and simple one. It says Coke or Pepsi. And yes, I drink Diet Coke. So this one was Diet Coke, but I know pop isn't great for you. I really tried to like limit it, but I could never seem to cut it out altogether. So my answer is Diet Coke. Okay, now we're moving right along. Number 10, have you tried Kringle Candle yet? If so, what are your thoughts? If not, do you plan to order? Yes, I have. And I will say I'm not a fan of the country jars with the two wicks. I tried like six of those last summer and all of them got murky and gross, put off a burnt scent. Um, some of them didn't throw it all. And I was kind of like, hmm, this brand's just not for me because the sales aren't as great, if I'm being honest, as Goose Creek and Bath and & Body Works. And I'm usually a girl on a mission for a sale. But then I tried this collection. This is the Root Beer Donut Candle. And I tried this one and the Blueberry Maple. There might have even been another one. But this smells like straight up A&W Rip Your Float with a little bit of like a donut shop not like a oil bready note but like almost like you're buying something in the donut shop and this is such a like conceptual candle to me because like i don't think there is such a thing as root beer donut but the way that they made this blend and how strong it is i've gone through two of them and both of them were so good and reminded me that i love this candle that yes i will re i will purchase from king girl again i just think i'm going to stick with the three wicks because there was, I tried every single trick. There was nothing I could do to not make those candles just gross and murky. The color, 
like the red wax would turn white. And so like you'd have a half white and half like murky white, half red candle. It was really weird. And I just could, I could not figure out what I was doing wrong or if I just picked the wrong scents, but six of them, like I got a whole set of six and none of them really were my thing. So this candle is a yes. Um, I don't have a lot to recommend because that's the only two experiences I have with Kringle, but I know a lot of people talk about them and it's mostly positive. So maybe, you know, I just got a bad set. I don't know, but those were not for me. So yeah, I probably will repurchase in the future. Okay. What is your favorite masculine fragrance? So, um, you know, I've talked a lot about this, you know, Aiden's just getting into like body sprays and things. So I like clean slate for him. Cause it's kind of one of those like younger men scents. but for Aaron, this was a set I got him for his birthday. I think this is whiskey reserve. And this is the first one he liked. So he was always like, don't you buy me none of that Bath and Body Works stuff. He has his own fragrances. But um, this one I really liked in store. It was crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. And I can always tell when he wears this because I'm like, oh, that smells like whiskey reserve. So now he's letting me buy him things slowly. He does not want a collection like mine. Go figure. But yeah, there is my favorite scent right now. But this is newer because I really never even smelled them before because he was always saying no. So I really, really do like this scent. But I'm interested in getting black tie. So let me know down below if you smell black tie and you think that would be a good one to try. Okay, so the next one is number 12. Which friend are you? Fruity, foodie, floral, clean, or earthy? Select all that apply. And I think I do like something in every category. So I kind of just did a quick ranking. So number one would be fruity. Number two would be clean scents. Number three would be foodie. I do like foodie scents more in candle or gourmand in candle than body care, but there's a couple scents I really enjoy in body care. Number four would be earthy. Um, so I'm thinking of like the, the woods and the herbal candles and the ones that are just kind of conceptual that aren't just clean or just like a clone scent. I really like those. And then number five would be floral. But like, again, if you do a fruity floral, that bumps up on the list. So I don't like just straight floral. Um, I do like rose. I like lily. Um, there's a few other scents I like, um, but for the most part, if it's just a straight up floral, I can't do it. It's just, you know, it smells like a, it smells too strong to me or it just, it doesn't, it does not fit my preferences. I tend to cough and choke and just go, oh, so I can't be wearing that. And I typically don't pick up those candles very often. So that is my ranking there. Number 13, I'm going to try to keep this brief too. What made you become a teacher and do you love it? I absolutely love it. I don't necessarily know that you could consider me a teacher. I do have my teaching degree. I have an L-Ed degree um, and my bachelor's degree in L-Ed. But I, right away, the workplace was saturated with, you know, there was 200, 300 people applying for jobs and teeny tiny towns in my area. So I went a different direction and I went to work for Head Start, which is more for preschool. And now it does serve um, birth to five, which is awesome. Um, when I first started, that was just getting off the ground in my area anyway. So, um, I'm gonna move this candle cause it's giving me like a blinding light and I don't want that in my, like doing this face all the whole time. So where did I, where, where did this like love of teaching or working with children come from? I'm the oldest of a bunch of kids. So no, there's two on my mom's side and two on my dad's side, but I've always kind of had that like you know, taking care of the littler kids, um, you know, mentality. But my story for why I wanted to become a teacher came from third grade. Um, it was just one of those years, you know, those like monumental years in your life. My mom had remarried. My dad was moving to Arizona to remarry. And he actually had moved before then. But it just kind of felt like that year was getting like left behind or whatever. And I was going through some things. Like I was like a third grader wearing all black. Okay. You know, so it was beauty of the beast, but still I was like trying to like, you know, be the emo kid back before the emo was cool. And my third grade teacher, she kind of just pulled me aside. She let me stay in at lunches. She let me like do things on the chalkboard. And I just kind of fell in love with that idea of, um, you know, she was there for me. And I just like ever since then, um, there was a day I remember specifically, I call it my skip it story. So my dad had come home for Easter to introduce me to who he was going to marry my stepmom, And, um, he bought me a skip it and it was like the new rage, you know, all the new rage toy. So I took it to school. 
stupid. And there was a girl that was kind of, I just moved to this new school. So there was a girl, she was a little mean to me. It is what it is, you know? And she asked if she could use it. And I was like, sure. And then she hit it up against this school and it broke in two pieces. And I like went into this school all sad. And the teacher, you know, she pulled me aside and she was like, what happened? And I just explained how it was more than just the toy. It was like, my dad gave it to me and all these things. And I just like spilled my little guts and she kept me inside for the rest of that recess. And I remember it was like a week or two later. She never said anything about like buying me one or anything, but she came to my house and we had moved all the way out in the country. Like I was used to living in town and being around my friends. And so now we're out on this like five acre thing. And I was not an outside person. Like if I went outside, it was with a book, but she like pulled up our lane and she brought this package up to the door and it was just in a bag and it didn't have the packaging on or anything. And she said, Oh, I found this in my basement. It was my daughter's. Would you like it? And it was a yellow one. Mine was hot pink. But I remember back then, like it was such a, you couldn't even find, if you found one in the store, you had to pick it up. But I was like in third grade. So I couldn't believe that kindness. And like ever since then, Anyone in my life told me that's all I've ever said I wanted to do is be a third grade teacher specifically. So that's my story. It's a long one. I'm sorry. Please, if you're so watching this, stick around because we're going to speed it up here. But that is why I, I think that you either go into something because of someone or in spite of someone. And mine was because of someone. So thank you, Mrs. Andrews. But let's keep going. So number 14, what is your favorite Bath & Body Work item to gift and why? I think candles. I just always kind of gift a candle. Um, you know, if I do a single wick, I add like a matching soap or something. Um, and my family just loves that I have these obsessions because they don't have to buy these products. So they always know they're going to get something candle or body care related. But for the most part, I just love giving candles. The packaging's cute. Um, it seems like something they could use right away. So it's like, I didn't guess, I like, you know, kind of know them and know what they like. So, and like I said, they know what's going on. So they're always like, oh, can we come shopping at your house? But no, go shopping at the store. If you find something you don't like, give it to me. So that is my favorite item to gift from Bath & Body Works. Um, okay, this one's embarrassing. This is me really spilling the tea. So be supportive, okay? How many hand soaps are in your collection? I had no idea. You guys, so I, I'm going to do a video just because I think it'd be fun. I'm going to show you like where I store them in my house. Um, and they're separated. So there's a couple in my cabinet, a couple under both the sinks in the bathrooms, and they weren't all together. So I got them all out together because I thought, okay, I'll film a video, show how I store them and whatnot. And there's 57, you guys, like 57 foaming hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. How did that happen? Like, I don't know. Like, I do participate in a sale. And when I do, it's like six. But how do I have 57 hand soaps? I just... I was like completely embarrassed. I was like, I'm going to make that number less. No, I'm going to tell you the truth because that's how it is. The next one's a little bit easier. What is your favorite color? I really do. I have two and I even have a sample. So my favorite color is green. I really, really love all shades of green, but I love shades of green like this vibrant one. And then this one that's like muted and kind of, I don't know, jewel tone. These are um, KL polishes and light slacker polishes. That's my favorite brand. But I just love like a color like that. I love a color like that. But I love to accent it with hot pink. So pink, not pastel pink. Like I love a hot pink. So those are like my favorite or this is kind of just like my color. And it's not even like what you wouldn't like do like wedding colors necessarily or anything. But it's just I love those like type of colors, you know. So not anything normal, I think. Totally different. Okay. What is your favorite TV show or movie? I like TV but we don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of YouTube. So nothing that I like is recent. Like I loved, um, you know, in high, like back in the day, like Full House, Friends. I love Dawson's Creek. I love One Tree Hill. I love Grey's Anatomy, Sex in the City. Um, I love Schitt's Creek. Hilarious. Uh, I love The Walking Dead, which is weird. I'm just getting into Ozark because of Gabby and that is good. Watch that. Um, but my favorite movie of all time has never changed was The Princess Bride. I've watched that movie a million times. I've showed you guys in a What's My or What's Their Favorite Candle video, my book. I have like a super sweet book from Aaron, like our first, I don't know, I think Christmas or something. He bought it for me. And it's my favorite of all time. Can't tell me nothing. Fred Dur or Fred Savage. Fred Durst. That's a totally different 
Fred in my life. Fred Savage. Can't tell me nothing. That's such a good movie. Um, is this a kissing book? Remember, you guys? Okay. Number 18 is Nike or Adidas. If I had to pick one, I'd say Nike because I have a few pairs of Nikes that I walk in occasionally. But if I'm being honest with y'all, it's flip-flops. Like, I love flip-flops and slippers. I love a barely there shoe. I'm a country kid, okay? But Nikes are cute. But Adidas are cute, too. I'm just saying, like, I have mostly Nike, so I'd have to vote there. What's your favorite childhood memory? Now, see, this is this is her fault why this video is going to be so long. Um, I would say, I want to show you a picture of me and my sister. This is not from the day, but this is what I'm talking about growing up in the 80s and 90s. So we were given the task. We were selling our home that went out in the country, and we had a seven-stall garage. And we were given the task with a five-gallon bucket of paint to go paint it, second and fourth grade, unsupervised. So I remember she, I had put on a new pair of shoes because that's what you do when you want to get in a fight. And we were just going along and it was taking forever and we weren't making any progress because it was a seven stall garage and she dropped a droplet of paint on my shoe. And I am a very calm, easygoing person, nonviolent, but that seemed intentional. And I remember just taking the paint and swishing it her way. And then she did it to me. And 30 seconds later, we have gone through this bucket of paint and we are covered head to toe. I, I wish I had a picture, you guys. My mom was so mad. So then we had the idea that we were going to, we had those like water spigots in our yard. Again, really old house back in the day. So, and this is like fall. So it's like, we're just going to wash off and they'll never know. So we start like pumping these like little, I don't know what it's called, water pump thing in your yard. And the water is just barely coming out because everything's kind of getting really cold. And so I start, you know, I'm helping my sister because she's covered in paint. I'm covered in paint. We're in big trouble. Again, no supervision. So the story continues to unfold. So I start to like get some water out and I start getting it in her hair and it starts to like make these frozen locks of painted hair and nothing's coming out. You guys, I'm like trying to get the paint out. Um, so then we decide, should we run away from home? No, because it's cold and no one's going to want a couple of little girls covered in paint. So we went up to the door and we knocked on the door. We knew better than to go in because my mom was a clean fanatic person. So there was no way we were going to just walk in the house. So we knocked on the door and sit on the porch with our sweetest puppy dog eye faces like, please forgive us. I'll never forget. I mean, one of those images in my head forever is my mom when she looked at us for the first time. She looked like she didn't know who we were. She's like, those look like my kids, but they're covered in paint. Why are they covered in paint? And we were just so scared that we were like 100% honest. I was like, she started it. And my sister's like, no, you hit me. And I mean, when we play back the tape, I think I did start it. Because I think that that drop of paint wasn't on purpose. But I was so mad. Probably one of the only two or three times in my life that I like went blind with rage. And I don't know why I was wearing new shoes to paint. Didn't have expert. Like I wasn't an expert painter in fourth grade. But that is my story. So <laughs> it's a long one. Okay. Number 20 is did you enjoy this game? And I did. Actually, this was such a smart addition to the video. I really appreciate you coming up with this. I appreciate if anyone's still watching. Um, put pink watermelon in the comments if you're still watching. Um, but it was such a fun way to share a little or a lot about me. And I really cannot wait to watch your video and to, to see what you say for all of my questions because I love getting to know people. Okay, finally, we're at 21, guys. What direction do you see your channel going in the next six to 12 months? And I was like, wow, what a good question because I'm a planner. I love to plan, but I really don't know because this is one of those things where it's up to you all. Um, if you guys keep coming back and watching my content and I grow, that's cool. I mean, of course, like I'm a true Scorpio, so I have a plan in mind. Like I'd love to see 4,000 and 5,000, you know, but this will always be a part-time thing for me. Just fun. Like I said, I love chatting as you can tell. Um, but it's tough. Like I said, if I'm being honest, I'd like to keep my main focus on fragrance and bath and body works, but I want to bring some other things to the channel. Like you guys have been really supportive of the decluttering, the project boosted ups. Um, I, I, if I do kind of make any headway in my health stuff goals, I'd love to share a little bit of that. I'm just one of those open book kind of people, but I also want to make sure it's content that you care to watch. Like I don't sprinkle in the makeup all that often because it doesn't seem to be something that you all like to watch. But, um, you know, I, I don't mind to put that in there. I love pop culture. So I kind of add that in with my candles with the what's their favorite candles. So I really 
I just, I enjoy making content. I enjoy connecting with you all in the comments. And I also enjoy being a subbie and finding new channels and supporting them. I really, really do. Um, but I guess probably I want to focus on just really organizing my channel so you guys know what you can expect. Working on lighting, working on editing, because again, I just sit and talk to my phone. There's always room for growth, though. So I guess that's kind of where I would like to go in the next six to 12 months. But um, yeah, so let's jump into the product review. That was a long bit of rambling for me, but now you know a lot more about me, probably than you ever wanted to know. So the products that Ashley asked me to review were these Goose Creek Body Care, and I have tried candles, but I have never tried the body care. Um, I've never even thought to order the body care from them. So let's talk about the product she sent me. So this is Sunday Drive, and this is the Soothing Body Lotion. They are 8.4 ounces, and these are always on sale. I just looked yesterday, they were like $4.99. So they're $4.99, $5.99, but like Goose Creek is always having sales. So um, I think even sometimes they offer these for free with a certain order. And then I also got to try the Sunday Drive Moisturizing Shower Gel. And this says dye-free, clean, vegan, cruelty-free, no parabens, no phthalates, and no sulfates. This is 10.1 ounces. And I seen these for yesterday, they were $8.99. But again, um, I don't know the body care sales that well because this is my very first product to try. So you can see I've made pretty good little dent. I've used this for over a week and this is squeezed pretty good. So I have used these products. So I do have thoughts. Um, let's share scent notes. So this is what Sunday Drive is um, described as. Windows down, hairs blowing as you cruise down the back roads without a care in the world. Fragrance notes of cactus flower, soft raspberry, coconut, and vanilla. And this was the, I thought this was very inspired by similar to cactus blossom. I, I thought they're different notes a little bit, um, but it's kind of reminded me of that scent. But I also know that as I was looking on the website to you know make this a very thorough review, um, they do a lot of their candle scents or their home fragrance scents in body care as well. So if it's a scent you really love, you can have it in both. And that's not something that's always offered all the time from Bath and Body Works. I mean, they put out collections, but for the most part, a lot of their very, very like signature staple scents are offered in body care and they offer hand sanitizer, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what did I get um, the most out of? So the most I really did get out of this was a clean. It's very clean. And then I definitely get like a raspberry vanilla. The coconut didn't really shine through a lot on this. I kept reading that and looking for it. Um, and I think that for me, I love body creams because I have dry skin. Like face is oily mess, body is super dry. So this absorbs just fine, but I just feel like I want to put more on. So I think this would be good for those of you that might not have dry skin and think a body cream is too heavy. Um, this may be more of a product for you. Now, I would say it's absolutely comparable to a body lotion from Bath & Body Works. So if you like the consistency of that, you will love the consistency of this. But for me, again, it's really cold here, so my skin's really dry. I needed a little bit more. So I would put this on, but I'd end up putting a moist, like another moisturizer on top of it. Um, but the scent was nice. Um, I am kind of interested to try some of their other scents now. I don't know that I want to collect it like I collect Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. I mean, like, do we need another? But I also thought it's really important to talk about the quality because Maybe it was something that, you know, you don't want to go and order so many candles, but you want to do a little mix and match. There are some scents out there for everyone. There's some gourmand scents, some fruity scents, fresh scents. And I like a lot of their candles are conceptual, so you can read the scent notes. And they they combine a lot of things in a different way, I think, than maybe Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret does a very basic, it's like one or two notes. Bath & Body Works are kind of scents you know, so you can do try or true. But these are like... You really need to break down those scent notes because it's something you might not have tried before. Now, the moisturizing um, shower gel, I think it's more of a, it's funny because this looks like the moisturizing body wash. And I kept thinking to myself as I was trying it, I like it. I like the scent of it, but it's not lathering. And then I had to remind myself, like, my, my shower gels don't either. They do eventually, but not like the moisturizing body wash. Those lather up and I look like I took a bubble bath, like a standing bubble bath. You know what I mean? Like, I just like to feel clean. So I did like this, but it does not give quite a lot of lather, if that's something that you consider. Um, the scent was great, and I felt like I was clean, obviously. But it wasn't like sudsing up in a way where I was like, 
I was using a lot more than I probably needed to because I was just wanting that effect. Um, but overall, I actually like these products quite a bit. They're very comparable to a shower gel from Bath & Body Works. It's just in the moisturizing body wash tube. So remind yourself of that. Like this is a shower gel and it reminds me of the shower gels. And then I really did like this lotion. I just am more of a body cream person. As you saw in my collection video where I have 70 body creams and 10 lotions, I'm still happy to have this and continue to use it. And I do think I will try a few more scents just to, again, have a couple of different like scent experiences with Goose Creek because I am placing a order for some wax melts and some candles. So overall, I really liked them and I really appreciate that she thought of me to review them for you all. So let me know down below if you watched Aries' video. Aries, actually go check her out. Link is in the description box. If you've tried Goose Creek Body Care, um, and you know, did I, did I over, did I overshare? Let me know down below. And I appreciate you, Aries Ashley, for collaborating and doing this video with me. I hope we could do it again in the future. I just love working with someone on something. The ideas are just twice as good, if you ask me. And, um, this is a very long video and I appreciate you all. If you watch this point, I will see you in a video probably tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.